Welcome to DTV. I'm joined by legendary uh, coach Charlie Walsh, who's uh, at the Melbourne Football Club this week. And Charlie, good to have you at the D's. And uh, can you talk about your role at the club this week? Well, firstly, I'm back here because of my very strong association with Neil Craig. Yep. And we've spent many years together working with Neil, both at the Adelaide Football Club, but also in our previous history with Australian cycling. So it's a little bit of a return to some old days, you may say. Yeah. So my role here has been to uh, work with the fitness staff here on introducing them to how to get the best out of using bicycles as say training me in both the uh, physical and psychological aspects of performance. And how have you found the week so far? Oh you always enjoy it when you work with people who are keen and interested and want to go somewhere and I say to the Melbourne Football Club people you have to be absolutely delighted with the attitude of these young guys that they're uh, very, very keen. They see this as a new adventure that'll open up possibilities for them in terms of performance. And uh, so it's been, yeah, I'd say, quite enjoyable. Yeah. Now, you mentioned your uh, long association with Neil Craig. Um, can you just offer a little bit of an insight of working with him during your cycling days in Adelaide? Well, Neil ended up being uh, recognised as the best applied sports physiologist in the world in track cycling. And that gave us a huge advantage, and that advantage hasn't stopped. And we've just had the recent Olympic Games where uh, Australian physiologists are over guiding the English team, as well as us, and when you say they're probably the two pop top countries. So that goes back to the start that Neil gave us. Uh, he was very, very thorough, highly detailed in uh, the way that he went about his job and able to provide me with data that gave us the capability to give individual athletes uh, targets which they could work at, but also in terms of performance. So he measured the uh, demands of the cycling events, and then we trained them to, uh, the athletes equipped them to be able to perform in those cycling events. And we're bringing that same philosophy here to the, uh, to the Melbourne Football Club, where you have to be reasonably clear, I, no, not reasonably, very clear on what the demands are from the psychological sense and how we can uh, help maximise those on a bicycle, but then also from the physiological sense on the fuel systems you used in football and how we can uh, best equip them to perform. Yeah. Now you've been involved with uh, several sports. Um, what's sort of one attribute you can see that all sports require in terms of uh, just the leadership and the, you know, the uh, requirements that you see? Uh, well the common thing is that we can have the best body in the world but if the mind is not able to satisfy the uh, competition demands then you're going to struggle. And so that's always a big focus because you're teaching people to manage themselves under duress, how they want to respond under duress and uh, and that's very much a mental thing and so you try and target what you think are things such as aggression, such as a persistence and uh, you subject them to those sorts of activities and that's one of the beauties of the bicycle that you can actually do that and whilst they may get muscularly tired for a day, they ride the next day, uh, it doesn't hugely knock their body around. Yeah. Now just uh, what else are you up to these days? You're doing a bit of consultancy work. Can you just talk about uh, some of the other things you're involved with today? Oh, well, by and large I've tended to, uh, to settle here in working with the football. I did spend a little time back with Australian Cycling because the uh, coach that was looking out of the sprint coach was a lad that uh, had an athlete. Then we trained him as a coach and so he just needed a little bit of a hand down there, a little bit of a dog's body. So it was quite enjoyable to work with Gary and he's a remarkably successful coach. He's got Olympic gold medals, world championship gold medals and so you're always pretty proud to see somebody that you've had an association and probably helped develop be able to achieve I think the ultimate in sport. So that was very rewarding. Well thanks for joining us Charlie, been great chatting to you and um, best luck for the rest of the week. My pleasure.